Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my channel, Ashley Jake. And I just wanted to share some uh, information, one on meth and uh, two on, on an alternative to meth. Uh, I watched uh, recently uh, on YouTube, uh, National Geographic uploaded um, Dopelandia, and if you watch it, um, it's about Portland and kind of a meth epidemic there. And uh, it's pretty, it's kind of eye-opening, and I'm from Portland, in the Portland area, and I had no idea of, of uh, how widespread the meth use is. And something that will draw you to meth is the fact that it floods your brain with endorphins. That's, that's the whole effect. It gives you energy, and it makes you feel really euphoric. And what that is, is your brain overflowing with happy juice. That sounds right, or that sounds awesome, right? You're energetic and you're flooded with happy juice for like three days. But here's the problem. None of these young kids have been in rehab. I've been rehab twice. And I've seen, uh, I did for alcohol, but there was a wide, wide range of people and, uh, that did a lot of drugs. And what happens is these people turn off their happy juice. There's a limited supply. But you're only supposed to flood your brain with endorphins during exercise, sex, and it's just as simple as, as what I want to give you as an alternative is one, really think about that. It doesn't take long for your brain to stop making those endorphins. It doesn't take long at all. And you become almost a walking zombie. So that's the long-term effect of meth, and they weren't... 40, 50 year old people that were like, oh, I enjoyed my rocking and rolling. It was young 30, 40 year olds that have just, they don't have the capacity to produce that anymore. And what's funny is something as simple as a hug produces a, a tiny effect that meth produces. Just by grabbing somebody anywhere and giving them an honest hug will produce that. So I'm thinking if, if you need an extreme, right, if you're sitting there and you're going, I want to try the effects of flooding my brain, there's things in, in Portland and, and in the cities that, that I've seen that's kind of neat, and you can see it on YouTube, is cuddle parties. This is where people get together and they've made sure that one, they're in a safe environment, that, that it's not sexual and that's not even the basis of it. These people just get together and they hug one another. Now think about that. You're not just producing the basic effect of going to your dad and giving him a hug. That would produce endorphins. But if you go to a cuddle party, one, you're going with a bunch of strangers. So at first, you're going to be kind of terrified because you don't know any of these people. And once that terrified goes to relax because watch the videos on YouTube, it's a very relaxing kind of event, that release from the initial tension is going to create create an even bigger endorphin injection. So if you need that, if you're going, I want to feel that flood, don't do something that's going to wreck your brain and take away your happy juice. Go and do it naturally. And if you need to, think about the things that make your brain happy. Think about the stuff that makes you feel euphoric. When you think about stuff that you've done, makes you feel euphoric. Chase that, because that won't stop the happy juice. Meth will stop you're a happy juice, and it's the closest thing to a living zombie I've ever seen. And it, it's sad, and I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who's gotten to that point, but when you've damaged yourself so much that nothing you pursue makes you happy anymore, you're a very unhappy, angry person. And it, it really is. It's the closest thing to a blinked, slate zombie, and it's sad. So try a cuddle party. That's all I'm saying, and it's a suggestion. And if, you, if you're one of those people that can't produce that happy juice anymore, and you know what I'm talking about, and you can make a comment, go ahead. I mean, I didn't need to say that I went to rehab, but Port, Portlandia got parodied to Dopelandia because there's so much meth, and that sucks. Because I love Portland, and that shouldn't be the parody. That shouldn't be the situation. So... That's, that's me for, for a video. Look for more, uh, does it make you want to play it? Uh, those are my, my themed videos. So thank you very much. Like and subscribe.